Hey there, welcome back. In this lecture, I am going to give you some details about the Node.js debugger that is integrated in VS Code and how you can use it to your advantage. Debugging and scraping is very important and should not be skipped because it will save you a lot of time when dealing with problems in your scraper. When I first started out learning JavaScript and working with scrapers, I did not even know you could use the debugger with tools like WebStorm or PHPStorm or VS Code. Do you want to know how I was debugging? I was console logging and restarting the scraper every time that I was encountering a problem. There is nothing wrong with using the console log as your debugging tool, but an integrated debugger can save you a lot of troubles. First, let me show you how you can actually run the Node.js scraper without the VS Code interface like we did with the first Internet Movie Database tutorial that we did previously. So what we want to do now is actually find the full path of our project folder. I am going to simply do that by right-clicking a file and revealing it in the finder. Then on macOS I am going to click right here and copy Udemy as path name. This is going to copy us the full path to our folder. For Windows users, you actually have this right here. You have this URL right here, and if you click on it, then it will automatically select all of it and you can copy it easily. Okay, so what we want to do now is actually open the terminal. Again, for Windows users, that would be the command prompt. For macOS users, this would be the terminal. Terminal, and then we need to go to the project folder. We can do this by simply writing change directory cd space and then we're going to paste the full URL that we copied. And now we're going to hit enter. And also we can check so that we make sure that we are on the right folder. We can write ls. This is going to show us the contents of the folder that we are in with the terminal. So it seems that we are on the right folder, we have the index.js, we have the node modules and the package and everything's good. Let's try to start running the node.js scraper with the terminal. We can actually do that by writing node and then the index.js, our actual project file. Hit enter. Now we should expect the same output as we did in the previous lecture. And as we can see, is the same output, again the same title but in Romanian and the rating. So this is good. Alright, so to recap, we want to write node and then the actual project file that we want to run. Our index file is the index.js. This file could have been named anything else and you would be writing it here. Anything else, literally, .js it would work. Now that we managed to run it with the terminal, we can actually close the terminal, close the folder, and let's go into actual debugger in the VS Code software. What we want to do now is go to the debugger tab. The debugger tab is this one right here with the illustration of a bug. Okay, we clicked on it and remember this is the view that we saw when we first ran the scraper when we actually clicked on the green button. Okay, so now we want to set a breakpoint. What is a breakpoint? A breakpoint is essentially a point where you want the scraper to pause so that you can inspect everything, all the variables, the call stack and everything for debugging purposes. You can easily set a breakpoint by going to the left of the line numbers and then we can hover it and we can see this red dot. If we click it, then it will set an active breakpoint. As you can see right here, breakpoints, and then you will have the index.js in line 15. All right, what we want to do now is start the scraper. Click on the start debugging button, and then you will see the scraper pause on the line. Exactly like this. Right now, the scraper is paused by this line. And as you can see, it was not executed. So if you click on continue, then it will print out the movie title and the rating. Okay, let's try to put another breakpoint. 
right here. And then run it again. The breakpoint will stop before this is executed. So, right now, the title is undefined. The rating is undefined, but if we actually play it, it will stop in the console log and the rating and the response variables will be updated and we can see exactly what we have stored in the variables. We can see the rating, we can see the response and if we hover of the title we can actually see the title. Pretty cool, right? Just think of the fact that this is a simple scraper. We don't actually need the debugger. But think of a scraper that is very big. You have a lot of variables, a lot of calls, a lot of everything. And you want to know what actually happens before something is executed. You want to actually know what values you have before certain things are executed. This will help us in the long run when we will do the larger examples and we will make use of the debugger a lot. Okay, now that I gave you a quick look over the Node.js debugger integrated with VS Code, it is time for you to try. If you fail, don't worry. Practice makes perfect. If you did not work with VS Code or debuggers before, now you can understand what we are going to use later on and not be confused when we do. Let's take a break for now and I'll see you in the next lecture.